too bad. Feeling mild, but I'm. If you like the mild temperatures, take it all in because fall is returning Maybe with a vengeance. August part two is over. Yeah, August part two is coming <laughs> to a conclusion as we head into next week. But conditions are mild right now as we get a live look from our library cam center, city Philadelphia. You can see those low clouds looming, some of that fog settling in with all this moisture hanging around. And Sunday will be a humid day and another unseasonably warm October day for us. Temperatures right now extremely mild. We're at 66 degrees. We're still sit sitting near our average high temperature right now. As we get a live look at Philadelphia, dressed in pink, the skyline is. Southeasterly winds at about three miles per hour. And so far this October, we know has been on the toasty side. Our average temperature in Philadelphia running about eight and a half degrees above the normal. We're a bit above normal for December and actually below normal if we go back to August. But temperatures right now certainly mild and a few people still out there. A couple can I see them out there strolling the boards on a Saturday evening getting a little late. Maybe people are heading in, but yeah, mild conditions, but that fog is settling in across the area, reducing some visibilities, but temperatures still up upper 60s right now down the shore. We're at 67 in Wilmington, mid 60s in Berks County, the Lehigh Valley, middle 50s in the Poconos, but we do have a cold front upwind. You can see where that cold front is positioned right now ahead of the boundary near 80 degrees in St. Louis behind the boundary. 48 degrees right now in the Twin Cities and that cold front is in our future ahead of the boundary. We do have a line of showers and a few embedded thunderstorms as well, slowly moving their way through the lower Midwest. When this cold front drops in late tomorrow night and into early Monday, we could see a few showers generated, but all is quiet right now on storm scan three, though. We do have those low clouds looming as well as that fog reduced visibility is at many of our reporting sites down to four miles in AC seven mile visibility right now in Philadelphia and overnight tonight, keeping it cloudy areas of fog and a a little bit of drizzle as well. Temperature only falling back to 64 degrees and another warm day. Temperatures running about 15 degrees above the average. Cloud deck will break up a bit as we head into the afternoon. A humid day and our actual our uh, record high temperature for tomorrow is 87, so we won't be too far from that. Checking in on Hurricane Ophelia, just an incredibly rare system. A Category 3 major hurricane, the only hurricane on record or major hurricane to form so far northeast. As we head into the next several days, it's going to turn actually Extra tropical, but will still be at strong tropical storm strength when it makes an impact on. Yes, Ireland, the strongest system to impact that nation since 1961. Just crazy, but closer to home, conditions pretty quiet. Future weather showing us we keep the clouds throughout the overnight period. Some areas of drizzle, a light shower possible into the early morning hours, and seeing some sunshine breaking out as we head into the afternoon. Not a bad afternoon in store, quiet in the evening hours, and the cloud deck returns with a line of showers that will break down as we head into tomorrow night and early Monday morning before we see clearing throughout the day on Monday and temperatures dropping on down. But planning your Sunday, mild for your coffee, that fog and drizzle still around as we head out to brunch. Still some clouds around 72 degrees. High temperatures tomorrow in the low 80s and then middle 60s on Monday. Much lower humidity, breezy conditions and definitely feeling like fall as we head into midweek. 43 degrees Tuesday morning. That is going to feel chilly, but what a beautiful stretch of weather. Sunshine highs in the 60s and 70s next yeah, week. You know, Leslie and I were just talking here. We're not <laughs> confident that like in November we're gonna have to t turn the air back on. Maybe one more time. Maybe one more time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. we'll have to say. Oh, boy. Not complaining. Lauren, thank you. Yeah,